नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 द टेंपरेचर ऑफ एन ओपन रूम वॉल्यूम इज गिवन 30 मीटर क्यूब इंक्रीज फ्रॉम 17 अप टू 27 सो इफ दिस इज ए रूम वॉल्यूम इज 30 मीटर क्यूब एंड initial temperature if i write in terms of kelvin that is 290 kelvin and the next temperature will be 27 degree centigrade so we can write final temperature is equals to 300 kelvin right but look at the question question demands number of molecules in the room before and after heating the atmospheric pressure was given 1 into 10 to power 5 pascal so if i go for the number of molecules so we can write final minus initial that will equal to pv on r the final temperature pressure into volume upon ideal gas constant and initial temperature but i would repeat the question says number of molecules so you must multiply it with avogadro number right so if i take pb by r as a constant so 1 upon final temperature is there and 1 upon initial temperature is there so if i put the given values pressure is 1 into 10 to the power 5 volume is 30 and gas constant is 8.314 1 by 300 minus 1 upon 290 right so after on solving you will get the option number 4 now we are going to take question number 12 this is a particle is executing simple harmonic motion with a time period t at time t equal to 0 it is at its position of equilibrium so equilibrium position in at t is equal to 0 speed will be maximum so kinetic energy will be maximum so now i am going to take some small data speed is given by a omega cos omega t if i go for the formula of kinetic energy we can write half m a square omega square cos a square omega t so here you could see the kinetic energy is a function of cos square omega t so if i concentrate on the graph number 1 here you could see at the time t equal to 0 kinetic energy is 0 but we know that at the mean position the speed of the particle will be maximum so what will be the conclusion conclusion is that graph number first is not correct similarly second is not correct but if i concentrate here cos square 2 omega t so if i convert this expression as half m a square omega square so we can write 1 minus cos 2 times of omega t divided by 2 so here you could see frequency is 2 times of omega so time period will be half so what will be the conclusion my graph number third is not possible so in this stage we can conclude my option is 4 will be correct okay so now we are going to take question number 13 an observer is moving with half the speed of light towards a stationary observer this is very important line what is that an observer is moving with half speed two watts stationary microwave this is the important point 
and I have a relation apparent frequency actual frequency root of 1 minus beta upon 1 plus beta where beta is given by V by C right but observer is moving towards the source so we will take V with negative sign but according to the problem V is equal to C by 2 so we can write beta is equal to minus half because V is negative right so now we are going to put the given values 1 minus 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 will convert into plus half 1 minus 1 by 2 so that will give you root 3 times if I go for n dash multiplied with actual frequency that is 10 gigahertz. So on the basis of that uh, on solving you will get 17.3 gigahertz. So option third will be correct. Now we are going to take question number 14. An electric dipole has a fixed dipole moment which makes angle theta with respect to x axis. So now if I go for the diagram, if I consider this is y axis and this is x axis. According to the problem, the dipole is there P. P and angle theta from x axis right and we know that the torque is given by p cross e right so if i use magnitude of the torque but according to the problem electric field is this is e1 and torque is tau1 so if i go for the magnitude we can write p e1 sin theta this is my equation number one right but it experience a torque this when subjected to another electric field e2 root three times of e1 j cap it experience a torque t2 or tau1 this is very very important point so if i change the direction of electric field according to the problem this is e2 and question says it experienced the angle theta so we can write similarly we can write tau 2 is equal to p e2 cos theta this is my equation number 2 if i use the given condition of the problem that is tau 2 if i go for magnitude tau 1. You can put the value of tau 1 from equation number 1 and the value of tau 2 from equation number 2 and during the solving this question you keep in mind question says E2 is equal to root of 3 times of E1 when utilize this relation. You will get theta will be 60. Okay, so now we are going to move question number 15. A capacitance of 2 microfarad is required. So what will be the need? Equivalent capacitance is 2 microfarad. Right? So what we will do? If I go for the diagram, suppose there are m number of capacitors are connected in series number of capacitors are m and c is equal to 1 microfarad and if i consider there are n rows are there like that and circuit across a potential difference of 1 kb so that is 1000 volt 
right now a large number of one micro capacitor available which can withstand potential difference of not more than 300 volt question says a capacitor can sustain only 300 volt so if i go for equivalent capacitance so we can write equivalent capacitance is because m number of capacitor are connected in series so we can write c by m but there are n number of rows so multiplied with n right but c is given one micro farad right so and thousand by m is less or equal to 300 because one capacitor can sustain only 300 volt so if i go for m that is equal to 3.3 but i am going to write in terms of integer so that is 4 right so now if i use a relation n by m is equal to 2 so n is equal to 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 so the total number of required capacitor total number is m into n so that is 32 so my option is 4 so now we are going to take question number 16.